Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Stop abortion. Give me Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Bring it up! If you want to stop abortion, stop having sex until you marry. That's right. It's the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Read. Marriage is honorable at all. No, for the case, read. Marriage is honorable at all. God says that marriage is honorable at all. Not having sex with all sex with other men and women. Read. Read on. And the bad are default. Read. But oh my God. And what? But Paul Mugger! God said if you sleep in the while the men and women read and are told to run, uh -huh. God will judge. God said he's gonna judge you. Right, right. They don't get judged. Read it again. They don't get so look up Hebrew, chapter 13 and verse 4. Read Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. Bring it out. Don't want you to read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 17. Read. There shall be no whole! Of the daughters of Israel. God says you black women are supposed to be holding yourselves out. Right. If you would close your legs, you wouldn't have to worry about no abortion rate. Right. If you get married and one man, you have to worry about no abortion rate. Right. But we wanna we wanna protest to the white man to stop us having sex. Give me first Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. Bring it out. You say what about rape, Alvin? What about rape? Deuteronomy chapter 22. Bring it up. She's saying as far as abortion, what about rape? Read yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 25. Read it up. But if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field, uh -huh. and the man falls her, and the man falls the damsel that's in the field, read, and love her, uh -huh. then the man only that lay with her shall die. So that man's supposed to be put to death. That's what that's what happens with rape. But guess what, sis? Give me uh First Timothy chapter two verse nine. Bring it out. Well, a lot of times our sisters don't know that the way they dress attract those type of men. Right. Right. If our sisters do wear more modest stuff, a lot of those men wouldn't have no chance to lust after them. That's right. So, right. Don't get me wrong. Listen to what I'm saying. A lustful man, he go he go try to get it no matter what. But to prevent that, read that. It's the book of First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. Read it out. In like manner also. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So a woman's supposed to, our Israelite women supposed to adorn themselves with modest apparel. Things that's not revealing. A lot of times when our sisters leave out the house, they got on tight booty shorts. Right. They got on the tight leggings. Right. So now when a man, when a man see them in the street, the first thing he want to do is see all their secret parts. Right. He said, do you see their thighs? You see all, all their vagina areas. Right. So that makes a man lust after you. But read that again. The book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. Read. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel meaning they're not you're not revealing yourself. You're having a long dress. You understand what I'm saying, sis? That's gonna stop the rape. That's gonna stop the abortion in our community. But our sisters don't want to do that. They want to show off. They they like the attention until something happens to them. And then they say, "What a black man that." You understand what I'm saying? It's a black people. You don't understand what I'm saying? Why? What you don't understand? Because they got sick people out here who just be tweeting, who just sick in the head. They don't break the Right, but listen, Psalms 19 and 7. Bring it on. That's why we out here in the streets. Because our people are sick in the head. But guess what's going to heal them? The word of God. That's right. right. The Christian pastor's not out here telling our people to stop having sex home. What they tell us? The law is done away with. Or we got grace. We can do whatever the hell we want to do. That's uh, not in the Bible. Hmm. Read that. So book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 2. Read it. The law of the Lord is perfect. God uh, says the law of the Lord is perfect. That's right. Read. Converting the soul. It's the only thing that's going to change us. The Bible. 
The Quran don't got no laws in it. Well, what else? The, the Christ, Christian pastor's not telling us uh, this. Right. They're not telling our people, they're not telling our sisters to dress modest. Right. They're not telling our men to stop whoring out our sisters. Right. They're not saying that. They're doing it too. Psalms 1099. That's what I want. Listen to this. This is how we're going to heal our people. And you could be an example for, the, for to be a righteous sister. But you got to humble down to the words of God first. You got to be the change that you want to see in the community. It's talking out first. You understand? The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. Read. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? How should a young man or a young woman cleanse his way? Read. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. They got to take heed to the words, sis. Right. Our people don't want to take heed to the words. The right. Bible is a book of laws. It's discipline. Our people do not want to be disciplined. We want to do what the hell we want to do. We want to do what feels good to us. Right. So judgment for that. The Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. This is what our people do not understand. Because our people say, oh, I did that one time, I can do it again. I did that one time, I can do it again. It is a repeat cycle because God's not judging them quick and speedy. Alright, read that. So the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. Read. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. So if a man sleeps with another woman and he don't get to, if, if a man sleeps with another woman, he don't get judged for right away. He's going to continue to want to do it over and over again. Read it again. This is what I'm going to please ask. Chapter 8, verse 11. Uh -huh. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Uh -huh. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So because we're not getting judged right away, we're not getting judged right away, our people think that we can continue to do it, the work, the evil work over and over and over again. That's how the survival of our people. Well, I ain't even caught this time. Read verse 12. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, uh -huh. and his days be prolonged. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. Read. Yet, surely, I know that it should be well with them that fear of God. If you fear God, sis, you won't have to worry about that judgment. Then guess what? It's coming. The judgment for sinners is coming, sis. Right. Hey, you got a flyer. Check out that flyer, sis. You the change in our community. You got to be the change. You got, all right. Bring, Bring it out. Let me show you something, bro. Bring it out. A lot of people out here, bro, it, it, it's so hypocritical, bro. They talk about we out here cursing, saying ass and damn. Let's read what this is. Read that. So we of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knows his owner. Uh -huh. And the ass. The what? And the ass. The what? And the ass. Spell that for me, please. A-S-S. -S. So ass is in the Bible. But what our people do not want to do is repent. Read on. His master's script. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. Israel don't know where they are. It's so called black Spanish and Americans. We don't care who we are. We won't walk around being subject to the other nations. Read on. My people do not consider. Our people do not consider that we're the great people on the face of the earth. Right. We don't care. We don't consider. We are just showing y'all we're the greatest people on the face of the earth. But we fell to our lowest state. Why? Because we don't want to keep God's commandments. We want to smoke, we want to get high, we want to drink early in the morning. We want to buy and sell on the Sabbath day. Right. We don't want to work. We want to hold out our women. Read it again. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Read. The ox, no, it is oak. Uh -huh. And the ass, his master's quick. So an ox and an ass know where their masters are. They ain't going to walk up the street, and they're going to find them, they're going to go back home. But what? But what? Read on. But Israel, you so-called black Spanish and Americans, y'all don't know who y'all God is. Right. Y'all think the white man is y'all God. Y'all worship white Jesus. Right. That's y'all God. God love everybody. That's not in the Bible. Read. Do not know. We do not know. Read. My people. God's people. Give me Matthew 2 and 6. Let's see who God's people is. Bring it on. God's people is not everybody. Give me that. Read that. Matthew 2 and 6. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 2 and verse 6. Read. Read on. And thou, Bethlehem, uh -huh. and the land of Judah, Read on. art not the least amongst the princes of Judah. Uh -huh. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. Who? My people. Read on. Israel. Go back to Isaiah 1 3. So God's people is Israel. Right. These people right here on this side right here. This is God's people right here. You so called black Spanish Native Americans. Read on. Right. It's the book of Isaiah. Chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it up. The ox knoweth his own, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Read. But Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not 
consider. We don't even give a damn that we the greatest people on the face of the earth. Read on. First three, four. Oh, sinful nation. God said we are a sinful nation. Right. The so-called black Hispanics. Give me um uh Bruce Dom. You know what I said? Isaiah 60, I think in verse 1. It says, a sinful nation. Read that. No, 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 is that it? Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 6 and verse 2. Read. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. God says that darkness shall come. Sin shall cover the earth. Why? Because we're not in rulership. Read. And gross darkness. And that means the maximum sin. The most grossness, the gross darkness, read, the people. The people, who is the people? Us. We the ones that are the most sick. We the ones that want to do everything other nations do, and we take it to the next level. That's us. Right. Right, so go back to Isaiah 1 and 4. So it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 4. Read. Oh, sinful nation. We are a sinful nation. God gave his law, statutes, and commandments to us. We broke his commandments. We the only ones that can break God's commandments. That's right. Read. A people laden with iniquity. What it means is laden in, in sin means you rolling all over in it. You're deep in it. Our people are deep in sin. We do not want to repent. Read. A seed of evildoers. God said we are a seed of evildoers. Who was that? That's our people. That's what we want to do what God said to do. So how what the other nations do? God cares about what we do. Read. Children that are corrupt on uh -huh. They are forsaken of the law. God said we forsook the law. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.